I did the whole bus build in the summer of 2017. Uh, Nolan had free weekends and was able to come down and help me build it. You do. You do you. You do. No. I mean, it was over a year from the time where he last put hands on it, like helping build it to where he actually got to spend a night in it. One degree off. That's it? Next. Let's set it up. Yeah, so going into this hunt, it was more about just getting Nolan out on the bus and get, you know, go after a deer for him. So Sam and I came out here hunting three years ago. Yeah, I don't know why it took us three years to, to get back hunting together again. Yeah, that's the tough part is when you get out of college, people are either starting families or they're in jobs. It kind of takes a lot of their time. It's definitely worth it to take a couple days off and get out in nature with your friends. I'm glad that the bus just didn't fall through this cow. I was a little nervous like about it. Bent. Yeah. Get bent. Get bent. <laughs> All right, let's go find one that's not running. <laughs> in uh, the early college years, we came out here for three years in a row. And then once with Sam, once with my buddy Kyle, and then now we're back out here for about the sixth year. Not making any excuses, but I have shot zero deer. It's a lot harder to come out here and just show up and shoot a deer. They just got a lot of scouting. There. I slept really good. How did you sleep? <laughs> Pretty good. Hey Sam, how'd you sleep? Buddy? I slept amazing. I said, if you build it, they will dream. And That's not what I said at all. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a great day. There was a 10% chance of zero rain today. <laughs> yep, apparently that means there was a 90% chance of some rain. <laughs> we are. Is that a deer's butt down there? To the right? I don't think it is. I'm gonna get the bushes. Big beans. They are. What's that? Bushes. <laughs> we're actually going back to where we were last night. Plan is, we were when we were driving, we actually saw a couple deer crossing over the ridge, kind of assuming going to feed somewhere. So. We're gonna drop me off on that ridge somewhere and I'm gonna to try to get into a spot where I can glass down into where those deer were coming from. And then Nolan's gonna head further down the ridge and get to a high spot and then start glassing around for deer where we saw deer right at the end of the night last night. And with any luck, we will find one close enough to send an arrow at. So we hiked up to the top of this hill. Bucks down here, one pretty good sized buck. Uh, we're gonna wait till tomorrow and then uh, come here in the morning and see if we can find him again. Hunting Western North Dakota is a super interesting landscape. You have this massive chunk of public ground that everyone can access. You know, the best thing we've described it as is like looking at a fine fingerprint. It's just 
the entire landscape is just rippled with nooks and crannies and places for them to hide. The other thing that makes it interesting is in the last decade, there's been another oil boom out here. And so you have, you have all of these places that used to be incredibly hard to reach. Absolutely pristine landscape, now pockmarked by oil pads from north to south all the way through. So on one hand, it's kind of nice because it allows you to get to places that you weren't able to get to before. And on the other side of that coin, it's not nice because you can access all these places that used to be so hard to reach. Overall, it's just a just a crazy place to hunt. What'd you see down there? A uh, couple deers. Yeah. Oh my god. Did, as we saw the, the doe and the fawn spook out. Did you see the rest of them? I could see them. Oh really? And I walked over there. So you didn't see anything else? No. Is it? Yeah. God. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't. You know, like. You guys saw that buck down here and he kind of moved around that corner. Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me if he, you know, came up and ate on the tops or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised we didn't catch him, catch something moving back through. Yeah, the road continues, so. Yeah, it just keeps going. We can look both ways and mm -hmm. see if we can catch something on his feet before it gets too bright. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. You know, all three of us are such close friends that there's no holds barred on anything you say it doesn't matter the joke it doesn't matter the movie quote like we all c catch the references and wish i had like another cup i could like flip it oh, throw oh. it over <laughs> <laughs> i was raised by a roughneck i grew up around roughnecks why is it so hard to believe i fell in love with one <laughs> that's my impression of Liv tyler <laughs> oh <laughs> the first one I discus threw a little too much power blew it, blew it apart. Probably got a bunch of turd sprinkles in this ignite. You don't have that many people like that in your life that connect so closely, so it's fun to just spend time with those people. <laughs> For the fall of 2018, this was the first hunt that we didn't notch a tag. You could call it a failure that we ha we haven't killed anything, but it's not about that necessarily. I mean, today we had a really close, fun stock on a deer. Just that is exciting and fun to do. You know, just being able to come out here with your friends, having you and Sam out here, we just been goofing around, doing movie quotes and everything. That's the best part. We will be victorious or we'll be in our graves. Ninjas. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't remember one specific moment, but we just spent five days just laughing. So because that's what this whole hunting thing is about. It's all meant to be fun, and it's about being with friends and family. You know, a hunt based solely on filled tags is missing the point. Fred Bear. <laughs> <laughs> when I was just a baby, my mama told me so. Gonna shoot one. <laughs>